Here we are, Criminal Nine. I mean, Criminal Mind. Why did I? Why did I say nine? This is a uh, season ten, episode eighteen. I've been watching this show, especially since twenty ten. I started binge watching it, and I've been following it off and on for many years. And uh, I've not seen past season 11 or 12, something like that. It goes on to season 15. I'm currently um, watching this episode right now. I don't think I've ever really seen this episode before until now. Or I, I must have forgotten about it. Oh my god, she's missing. I'm Spencer. I know everything. Mamma mia. He's like a congressman or something. His wife is missing. I'm the head poncho. You may know me from Dom and Greg. I'm the keyboard warrior. And I'm the reporter. You like my hair? I'm the, the blonde of the show. Sounds like domestic abuse. Starring Seymour Moore. You want more of that? Everybody with the last name Moore. Uh, Andy Moore, Jennifer Moore, Tyler Moore. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Sophie. I didn't know this was Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid. Hey, Johnny. John, Johnny. Johnny's like the bad guy. No, he's the good guy. Daniel's son, he's the bad guy. Nah. Yeah, the blonde's alright, but the other girl, even harder for some reason. Created by Jeff Davis. I really like the show, Criminal Minds. It has to deal with psychology and stuff. I remember learning psychology in college. And, and it's like, it's a thing that I think about all the time. For a really, really long time. I've been thinking about it all the time for a really long time. I think about that kind of stuff for a very long time. I'm oatmeal. Random oatmeal. Oatmeal random. The most banned oatmeal in the, in the world. YouTube deleted over 10,000 videos of mine. God damn it. Look at the security camera. You can see the sun moving. You can see the shadows moving, moving, and then it stops and then it goes back. Looks like somebody did some shenanigans. God damn it, I didn't kidnap my own wife. Spoiler alert. Yeah. We've been like investigating and like doing undercover stuff and spying on people. But a greater good. This is the part where. He's gonna do undercover with a girl. All right, I'll let you in, stranger Spencer. You wanna shake my hand or kiss me? I'm sorry, you wanna be redhead Princess Leia Star Wars? I don't do handshaking. I'm Spencer. I have like photographic memory. No, don't do that dead stuff, dude. No way. Hey, you just spoiled Moby Dick or um, uh, the other person. And now you wanna quote Jackie Chan? Hey, girl, you like Charles Dickens? Let me spoil the whole entire book for you. Oh, man. At the end of the episode, she's like, Actually, you saved me a bunch of hours of of needless reading. Dough keeper. I am the ugly brother. And here's the crazy mother. And she's all like being very uh, self-affirming. Very like fake confident and you want to know what's what he's up to anyways he's like he's like the other uh, ugly he's the ugly brother and, and and they were thinking like maybe maybe he kidnapped his wife his brother's wife because he was not happy watergate spencer i'm a reporter that you saw earlier i come bear gifts Oh, it's a video. And in the video, the wife's like, "You gotta, you, you, you gotta come. You gotta give us a lot of money. Give the kidnapper like millions and millions of dollars, daughters. I mean, I mean dollars, or else I die. And then my hair will stick up because, because that would be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be like the family, uh, what family? The Adams family. That's right." Wow, looks like a real video. So he holds his mother's hands 
Or is it his mother-in-law? The reporter does an interview with the... With the father. I mean, not the father. The You're not the father, Martel. I can't tell, Martel. I can't tell, Martel. Can you tell, Martel? I can't tell. With the husband. He breaks down and says to, to the camera people, Turn it off, turn it off. God damn it, we'll do it live. Rams, um, where's Mel Gibson? Oh, there's that girl again. The horse whisperer. I mean, the, um, the ghost whisperer. Can't tell the difference between a, a horse whisperer and a ghost whisperer. They both have to whisper. But this is the ghost whisperer. Uh, remember the ghost whisperer? In fact, the ghost whisperer. Uh, that's what she does. That's what she is. That's who she is. This is kind of hot now that I'm like 10 years older, 12 years older. Whatever it is. A few years older than, like, um, I, I find older people attractive. Like, whatever my age is at the time that I'm watching something. I find that to be more attractive for some reason kind of thing. It kind of moves with you as, you as you get older with age and time, space and time and the, and the else. This is the part where they get in touch with the kidnappers. And so that like they're talking on the phone with the, with the FBI here and then they hang up and they don't really know what they need to know. So he, he tries to ask his wife something personal like, oh, where did we go when we first met? Oh, we were walking like in a park, like what park? And then she couldn't really say it. And so it's like he's trying to identify that it's really her on the phone. That he's, st that you know, that she's still alive. That it's really her. But she was unable to answer. Hey, baby girl, what do you know? Baby girl, hey, baby girl, what do you know about Paul? Oh, that's odd, no answer, so he walks into the bat cave, the woman cave. Oh my god, man, what are you doing in my, my woman cave? Well, actually, I know why you're here. Information about Paul, the lead in all investigations, Sherlock Holmes. It's elementary, I'll tell you, with all my many, many computers. Then they start questioning the brother. They start interrogating. Then they start interrogating the mother. Touched by an angel. No, touched by a mother. Uh oh. Hey, Juliana, wanna get in a room with me? Nah, that's whoa. They end up getting an address and then they go to the address. They find, uh, like a necklace or something and then they, like, they find, like, the ear of the wife, too. Like, one of the ears. Dun dun dun. Why is there a girl coming out of the elevator? I was supposed to be the hot one. I am supposed to be the hottie. All the, all the kids come to the yard. Guess I got the milk, uh, honey. Honey, I got the milk jar. The, the milk juggalos. That's right. ICP. No, I see juggalos. I say boobies. Fat. Oh, I right, when they come over here and they try to compete with me. Why is there a hot bimbo coming into, you know, it's not really that is somebody else. It's like, why is there a hot bimbo coming out of the elevator? I'm supposed to be the hot one in here. Why is there some blonde here? Uh, coming up into my face, coming up and try to take some of heat. I don't have time for the, like, the competition and everything. It's like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like, spoil the herd. I don't wanna, like, leave them with their tail behind their legs, between the legs. Like, oh, so sad, but I'm gonna do that because I'm, I'm heavy on the, look at my jealous little eyes. And the, I'm the, I'm the ghost whisperer, the horse whisperer. I'm the, I'm the girl whisperer. I don't want them to do the, do the, do the, do the baby. The baby in my eyes, the baby in my soul. I did try to get out, but then the Pinocchio realizes what it really means to be that part of the Penamely of Grand Gland of the brain. It's all the same, but I'm trying to bust through the scars and the bars of everybody that tries to come beneath my homie. My homie tries to call me and tell me what's up. So I look at everybody and I tell them. Don't you play with mayonnaise in Germany because I am. Yes, I am Germany. I'm from German. I am from German. And I will eat your heart out because like a Viking, a strong woman will be able to do 10,000 things more better than anybody you can ever imagine because we have thick bones in our school. And we never ever want to do it ever again. So don't you dare try to have competition with me. Because I'm the ghost whisperer. 
and I'm hot, and oatmeal has a thing for me for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, but he does. Who is that? Six, five, seven, oh, three, oh, nine. I got your number. On the go. Mama. A real eye papa. They interrogate the husband. Asking him about a potential affair. Maybe it was before or after his memories. Or during a break. Like you saw on Friends with Ross and Rachel. Hey girl, let's do this. Woman to woman. Mono to mono. Well, we made love. Oh, you made love, huh? You're gonna make me feel jealous, huh? I'm Jennifer Love Hewitt. I got love in my freaking name. That means I don't have no pity party. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. You would too if it happened to you. Bada boom boom boom, I'm loving it. Good to the last drop, what you be, my peace with you. That's right, Jay Leno would tell you that. And I'll tell you that right now. Ain't no bimbo gonna outstage me on any given day, cause I am Jennifer Love Hewitt, that's right, Jennifer Love Hewitt, that's right, you think Bobby the Vampire Slayer has something on me, she does not have, let me summon all the demons that she's ever tried to tear out, vampires galore, try to go, try to bust out a 7-Eleven with the Brady Bunch on the weed, Cause they can't do it Wednesday Adams Cause they got a thing for Joey Arnold And Joey Arnold says No I'm dating Jennifer Love Hewitt I got love in my freaking last name My surname, my family name I'm going wild like a whore No like a Like a Borg No like a pig One of a kind I'll never ever have another kind Another thing that will ever be Anything closer Well Brighter for the men in black. Man, I'm loving it. Good and last drop. I'll always have your best soul in, in mind because I'm gonna suck it out for the vampires. No, for the for the lizard people down deep inside us. The depths of the earth which we haven't explored yet except what they probably have. And they're down there for too long. We gotta go figure out what they what they doing down there. Let's call this the Jennifer Love Hewitt Show. Forget about the criminal minds, which I've been obsessed with for so many years. And Apple ain't got nothing when you're spilling coffee on your computer, your freaking computer. Christian Mayo, Seth Guest, you gotta watch out, you know. Just like I got my eyes on you, said Jimmy, Jimmy Wolf Williams. Just right, got my eye on you, and I'll, 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 I'll take it to the last drop, and you think the bim was gonna love it. And Selena Jolie has boobs, but it's like, am I gonna be dumb because I got boobies? So I need to cover them up. Hey, now, I know you like, feel you're the ex, right? You're the, you, oh, you think you're a potential. You think your man is a potential future president. I don't know, you think Trump is winding things down. Is that Tim Pool today? I don't know what's going on in the world. I'm Jennifer Love Hewitt, goddammit. Jennifer Love, um, freaking Hewitt, that's right. I'll go here with you any day of the week that I want to do, I want to do, because I'm Jennifer freaking Love Hewitt. Hewitt. You want to hear the, the Hewitt coming down? Look at my face. I got intention and curiosity. You don't even know I got my poker face, lady. I got my poker face coming in at you. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. God darn it, people like me like never ever before. And it's gonna be so good. Finger looking good to the last drop. Yeah, whatever. Well, you does seem to be more nervous than usual. Yeah. Oh no, you was having an affair with me. Oh no, something bad is gonna happen, right? Get off me. I'm a puppy girl in a puppy world. Waiting for oatmeal to come. Lay it on me. There's an app for that. There's a file for that. Don't mess with me. I'm a sea wolf waiting in the closet with Sekira. Sekira, Sekira. Hips don't lie. My face don't lie. My, my Barbie doll. My Barbie house is waiting in the wing. Waiting to lay some more. Vatican propaganda on your face is gonna carry you home like you never ever seen before. You're gonna be waiting for something that's gonna be brick by brick, 
better than anything you could ever imagine. Another brick on the wall. Hey guys, you don't have to tell me that twice. I know your game. I know you got some game. I got game too. You see me? I'm Jennifer. Freaking love here. I go way back with the animal crackers. And we can prove that he got and that he had unprotected sex with you. Don't you want to get a test and prove you not to fart it? Oh man, I hope they don't write me off the show in a few seasons. Alright, Spencer, let's start dating. They have an argument. Spoiler. I think the younger one kills the the older one. That's about to pick up the body. His opinion means a lot to her, or maybe he's scared of her. Oh no, it's not me. It it turns out it was the mother. See that it. It's like we're playing that board game clue. Who's that lady? And then they were able to find the wife and she's still alive. Her ear not doing so good that you know her ear was cut off as seen earlier. But she's alive. Don't get me started on the UN. Honey comb in my hair. I swear. Arr. Look at that lady. Oh, I love a happy ending. A future president. You wanna go out on a date with it? Do what you like to? I thought you never ask under the sea. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Or wouldn't you think I'm a girl? A girl who has everything. I got oatmeal. The biggest twist of the episode is at the very end and... The, the husband, I mean the son, says to his mother in prison, you, after he, he comes to see her and he, he looks at his mother and says, all right, now what, what do I do? This reminds me of um, what was happening in Cobra Kai, not to spoil everything, which I'm probably going to do anyways. I've already made videos about it, but it's like I love the Karate Kid, I love Cobra Kai, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Greece, uh, Reese, Reese or Greece, like, he's in jail and he's, like, telling people what to do from the jail or he's telling the girl what to do and, uh, I thought that was kind of cool and that's what it reminds me here.